everybody, this is Praxis, and today my dad is back helping me on site with getting the electrical lines run. In fact, he's doing all of it. I'm just working on channels, and uh, I, I, carpentry is more my thing, so I'm just staying out of the wiring stuff and letting him do what he knows how to do, and I'm doing the limited amount that I know how to do. Uh, what he's using right now, this black wire that's going up here, and I'm not going to touch anything because we're trying to socially distance, and th that way I don't have to keep washing my hands, but this wire here runs to a... Uh, uh, well, this, this Wi-Fi endoscope that he picked up, uh, it is a little box here that transmits to his phone, and while he's feeding that through, he's able to see what's going on, uh, you know, down there. Yeah, and we get, to, okay, I'm going to have to wash my hands afterwards. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is the feed of, uh, I try to get it kind of close there. You can see it kind of going through, this is the wood moving on, and it's a kind of a blurry image. But it's been really, really helpful, uh, according to him, again, my hands have not touched any of this stuff. Uh, just in terms of uh, getting things lined up, we've got a uh, fishing line that we're using to pull the, uh, the runs through. Uh, you put like a, a nut on one of those because there's a magnet on the yeah. end of the endoscope. As a matter of fact, I'm just approaching the nut at the end of the motor. Okay, yeah. So you can see, maybe, you know, there's windows behind you, and I know that's probably not the best, but there's a nut here at the end of this green monofilament line, and uh, he's going to be able to attach to that, and, you know, because the nut attaches to the magnet that's on the endoscope, and then pull that through, and then we have access to the line. It's kind of a complicated setup uh, going through all of these channels here. I mean, they're, they're great conduits, except that there are some places where we didn't really anticipate using them as conduits and there are some obstructions that have been a little bit challenging to try to work around. But overall it's going pretty well and it's just, uh, it's unconventional and, and it's nice that we're doing it ourselves because of that unconventional nature. Uh, we were just discussing this morning uh, the electrician that we're working with, you know, who knows what would have happened if they were going to do all of this work because, uh, you know, no fault on them, uh, you know, contractor jokes aside from this series, you guys know, the electrician that I'm working with has so far been really great, and uh, uh, the simple fact is they just don't know what's in here. You know, they, I, we built this stuff. We know what's in here. We know why, you know, oh yeah, here's the nut that, that comes out here. We, are you handing it to me or? No, I'm just Okay, yeah, well there's the nut. Success. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know that at the bottom inside here there's a two by four, and then that this nail up there at the top is inferring that there is a little, um, uh, post go, uh, going into there, but for someone coming to this fresh, they'd have no idea what's in there. So it's really good that we're doing it because we know what's in here, we know what the challenges are going to be, and it's working out rather well. So my dad's doing electrical stuff, I am working on these little channels and carpentry work. All the railings from the other day are up and in, and uh, you know, it's really getting down to uh, the wire in terms of uh, what's left to do on this project that's not electrical stuff. So. I'm finishing up the last kind of carpentry stuff, electrical stuff happens, and once the electrical stuff is done, which, you know, that's no small task, but once it's done and inspected, we're going to start putting all the exterior sheathing on this house, and the house will actually become uh, watertight, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a quick run from there to the end, but the wiring is still a big thing, and having this endoscope, I'll put a link to it, the product down in the description below if you guys are interested, having that endoscope has really helped out on our project. That's it. Thanks for watching.